Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use Mail Merge in Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel to quickly send personalized emails to multiple people. If you've ever needed to send many emails that are customized, whether it's invitations, announcements, or any personalized communication, Mail Merge is a fantastic tool that'll save you loads of time. So let's jump straight in. Okay, so as you can see, I have two files open here. One is the Excel sheet, which has all the information in it, and a Microsoft Word document that has boilerplate text that you might want to send to people from this Excel sheet. There is a heading here for each of the column there, and every row in the Excel file corresponds to a different entry that you might have got from a form that you might have used to collect this information. You can see there is a first name that corresponds to the first name in the Word document, last name there as well, there's a course name, a course date, and an amount paid. Now this is all arbitrary information that I've just created for the purposes of this video. Also, for the purposes of this video, I have put in one email for each of the people that has registered for this course, hypothetically, just to illustrate the utility of Mail Merge. Obviously, I've grayed this out because I don't want you sending me emails regularly. So, Mail Merge is quite easy to use. Now, be sure you have both of these documents saved somewhere, and then go to the Mailings tab and then press the Start Mail Merge button here. So if you press the arrow that's pointing down and click on Email Messages, you can see that it gives you an option to select the recipients. Right next to the Start Mail Merge option, there is a button to select the recipients. So I will go to Use an Existing List here, and then choose the corresponding file, which I have labeled Mail Merge in to link it to the Microsoft Word file that we have created with the boilerplate text. And I'm just going to press yes here. And just press OK to select the entire worksheet. Now, the Excel sheet should be linked to the Microsoft Word document that's there. Now, if I just go to the first name, area here and press insert merge field, you should see options for each of the headers in the Microsoft Excel file that you have that corresponds to the first name, last name, course name, etc. And all you have to do is select where you want the first name to be, and then click on first name. Do the same for the last name. Oops, got that wrong. So let me just start again. So go to first name, press a spacebar, click on last name. Now where I have course name here, I'm going to replace the boilerplate text that I have with course name. And then you can do that for each of these bits that you need to take from your actual Excel file. and you can use an entry more than once. Course name. Amount paid. There we go. Great. We've now linked both the files together and we have linked each of these columns to the corresponding place in the text. So, the last thing you need to do is click on the Finish and Merge button, and you have a chance to either edit the individual documents. So here you can see that, that each page that is now displayed on the Microsoft Word file corresponds to a separate participant. So this is a preview of what it actually looks like before you were to send these to an individual. So here you see the first person is John Smith, corresponds to £99 that's been paid on the 10th of May, and all seems quite good. Same thing for Sarah Lee, the second participant, Alex Brown, Emily Davies, 
or Emily Davis rather, Mike Johnson, and that should be that. So, all that's left to do now is to send the email. Now it's really important that when you go to your Word document that you have this button enabled and you can see that it's grayed out for me. That's because I hadn't linked my Outlook from Microsoft Outlook and the application to Microsoft Word. So I've just gone and done this now by going to Microsoft Outlook and signing into my email and I'm just going to restart Word and see that appear. And the other thing that you really need to do is to make Microsoft Outlook your default email application. And on a Mac, that's by going to the mail application and choosing Outlook under the settings from this application. Now that we see the mail to email button appear, we can just go ahead and click that and choose email as the column that we want to use for this. So let's just write a subject for this email. I'm just going to type in course invoice and choose email merge to Outbox. Click on allow. If we go to the sent button here, we can see that the last five emails that were sent from my inbox include those that were sent and each of them is personalized. So everything seems to be sent as a text button. Now you also have options to send it as a formatted text rather than just the text button over here. So let me just do that quickly. So if we go back to merge to email and select the email as the final column and I'll just put in course invoice again and instead of choosing the text button I will choose an HTML message and let's just click on email merge to outbox there we go you can see that it's better formatted so you can send it in two ways um, clearly the HTML seems to be the better option here and each of these emails seems to be personalized with the message that we had sent. That's it. Now you know how to use Mail Merge to easily send personalized emails using Microsoft Word and Excel. With a little practice you will save hours creating customized communications for any purpose. So if you found this helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this. And drop your comments or questions below and I will try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.